Hey, what's up? In this video, I wanna go over how to read medication prescriptions. This video will be part of a two-part series as part two will go over different routes of medication administration. I plan to explain this through examples of RX scripts as this is what you will encounter on the job. However, before we begin, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for upcoming videos. Let's get started. So the medication begins with a prescription. 90% or most providers that prescribe will send medication electronically to prevent those medication errors. However, there will be some patients that request a written script um, based on pharmacy preference. So the medication that was ordered by the prescriber is sent to the pharmacist that will one, transcribe the medication into easy instructions for the patient to read and understand, or if this medication is written, let's say in a hospital setting, the pharmacist will transcribe the medication to the MAR, which is also known as your medication administration record for the nurse to dispense. So the MAR will contain medication abbreviations if you haven't encountered yet. So let's break it down, the components of what a prescription includes. So the first example here, you're gonna see numbers labeled one through six. So for number one, it's gonna have patient demographic information. So you always wanna make sure you have your patient's first name and last name, their date of birth. It also includes their phone number and address. Number two, right below it, where it says prescription in caps, you have your name of the medication and the dosage form. So this will be amoxicillin, 250 milligrams. Number three is your dispense number. So these are the number of tablets that you want the pharmacist to dispense for that specific ordered medication. So dispense number is always written out in numbers. You may see the provider write the number and then put a comma next to it and then write it out. And then number four is the actual SIG. So this is the patient's instructions of what you want the medication to be dispensed as. So you'll see one, and you'll see this italic form. It has like a T with a little circle on top. That's the number of capsules that the patient will take. So it'll be one capsule PO. So PO is by mouth. TID is how many times, so the frequency. So TID will be three times a day. The X is for times, 10 days. So 10 days will be the duration. And then number five is your number of refills. So in this circumstance, there will be no refills. So the provider wrote a zero with the line over it. They will either write it in or they will circle it on the left-hand corner of the RX script, as you will see. Sometimes the providers, if there's only one prescription and they don't want anyone else to add on anything else, they will write lines across it. However, for clarity, I'm gonna keep that clear so that way you guys have a good example of what you're looking at. Moving on to number six is the signature and then also include the date. Moving on to the next script, you have your patient information. In this example, the patient was prescribed prednisone 20 milligrams. This is actually a great medication for patients that maybe have like a lumbar radiculopathy. Maybe they have some disc pain and they need that inflammation to decrease. So the number of tablets to be dispensed are 10. And then the actual SIG is one. And again, you'll see the italic writing. So it's a T with a little circle on the top, indicates one tablet, PO, which is by mouth, BID. So BID is twice daily times five days. This will require zero refills, the provider's signature and the date. The next medication we have on hand is your meloxicam. This is a favorite for patients that have osteoarthritis, so knee pain, shoulder pain, or maybe they have some form of arthropathy on their low back. So you'll see this commonly dispensed for patients maybe 40 and over. However, number of tablets to be dispensed is number 60. Then the SIG is one PO daily PRN for pain. So PRN means as needed. And the max dose is 15 milligrams per day. 
So there will be some limits for some medications. So the provider will include that in the instructions as well. And then in this circumstance, there will be two refills eligible for this patient. The next medication is your Caraphate. So this is dispensed as one gram per 10 mils in suspension form. The bottle will be about 420 mils. So the provider wrote a SIG for one gram PO QID. So QID is going to be four times daily. So they wanna give one hour AC, so before mills, and HS is at bedtime. Number of refills is one, signature and date is provided. Moving on to the next one, you have your prednisone and sometimes these could be tapered down. And so you'll see a length of prescriptions on this one. So prednisone 10 milligrams and 49 tablets will be dispensed. So you'll see that the number of tablets was changed. So now you're gonna see four tablets. So there's different ways of writing the medication. So four tablets, PO daily, so instead of writing QD, the provider wrote daily, so that way it's safer for the pharmacy that's actually reading the medication, so to decrease confusion, times seven days. Then two tablets, PO daily times seven days, then one tablet, PO daily times seven days with food. So you'll see the abbreviation where there is a C and a line above it that indicates with. The patient will take this medication with food. Okay, so the next medication is your rovastatin. It's dispensed as 10 milligrams. The number of tablets are 30, and this is one PO every other day, and you'll see that the provider wrote it out every other day. Instead of writing QOD, that can become a medical error. So they wrote out every other day, which is preferred medical language for prescriptions. This will be number three, because this is the medication that they'll take continuously per the provider's recommendations. It has the SIG and the date. So your next medication is acetaminophen. This medication is dosed at 500 milligram tablet form. Number to dispense is 120, and the SIG is one PO, so by mouth, Q6 hours, PRN, pain. So the Q6 hours is the frequency of the medication. Sometimes there will be some medications, maybe Q8 hours, or sometimes Q2 hours for like eye drops or Q4 hours. So it just varies on the type of medication that's being prescribed, so it'll indicate the frequency. PRN is as needed for pain and the NTE is not to exceed four grams per day. Alrighty, that wraps up medication prescriptions, how to read and understand. Part two is gonna go over medication routes, so will go in detail the different types of medications. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and check out one of my other videos and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.